Hi, my name is Fiona Lee Jones. I'm a pianist, composer, and educator. And in this video, I'm going to teach you about the treble clef and the bass clef, as well as the G line, the middle C line, and the F line. It's important to know the treble clef and bass clef because they will actually teach you where the notes are on the staff. So the names of the pitches will actually change depending on which clef is placed before them. A staff in music is just a visual representation of our music. Uh, then the notes are higher up on the staff, that's higher in pitch, higher in frequency. And as the notes go lower, then they get lower in pitch or lower in frequency. The treble clef usually goes on the top staff and it represents the letter G. So we start by drawing a straight line and then I make a little flag and then a C. So I want to make sure it curves on this line. So it kind of circles around this line. This line is called the G line. This note's important because it's actually a perfect fifth above middle C. So how do you find middle C? Well, you go to the center of your piano, find the group of two black keys that are right at the center, go left one note from the, from the left black key, and that will be middle C, that white key. So this, this note right here on this line, the second line from the bottom is G, so it's actually a perfect fit. So it's five steps up from middle C. The bass clef is usually designated on the lower staff and it represents an F. So how do we draw a bass clef? You wanna draw a big dot here on the second line from the top and then I draw usually like a half a heart and then on the top, two spaces you'll draw two dots and these two dots are kind of framing this line right here this line right here is called the f line and this note is important it's actually a perfect fifth below middle c so you have the g line which is a fifth above middle c and you have the f line which is a fifth below middle c where is middle c well middle c is on a ledger line right in the center so we actually have to draw that line that line does not exist and we can draw our note and that's middle C. And from there, you can find the rest of the notes. If you're going up the staff, you will count forwards in the musical alphabet. If this is C, this next space will be D, this line will be E, this space will be F, this line will be G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you can keep continuing on higher and higher. As you're going down the, the grand staff, you will count backwards in the alphabet. So I'll start from C, C will be on the line, B will be on the space, A will be on this line, G will be on the space, F will be on this line, E will be on that space, D will be on that line, C will be on that space, B will be on that line, A will be on that space, G will be on this line, and F will be on the space. If you wanna go lower, just draw ledger lines and you can continue to fill in the rest of your notes. So I don't usually recommend face for memorizing the names of the spaces or all cows eat grass for the names of the spaces in the bass clef. I think it's just better, just with my students, I've noticed that they actually can grasp the notes better if they just start to get in the habit of just counting up and down that musical alphabet and just memorizing those notes that way. So thanks for watching. My name is Fiona Lee Jones. Please subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.